Hey there fellow white shavers, Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. In today's video, we are going to be continuing the Lothar theme. Uh, this is Tears. This is in the version one base. So again, I bought this and Calm uh, from the Razor Company previously when they were kind of on sale, uh, when they knew the new another version was gonna come out. I think they put these on sale. So anyways, I picked them up. They've been sitting here for a while. I don't know why I waited so long to use them. I just had other stuff going on. I haven't been doing as many videos. So anyways, um, so we're gonna use this today. We are going to pair it with um, this Ethos uh, DFS, Damn Fine Shave uh, Colonia. Uh, very similar scents and darn it, if I didn't forget to grab the scent notes uh, on this, but this is kind of a, um, uh, kind of a Colonia type scent. Uh, it's very nice. Um, and we are going to be using the carve with the open comb again. This is probably my last use of this Gillette seven o'clock. I think this is the fifth use of this. Uh, we are all lathered up with the, uh, go to trusty, um, Simpson Trafalgar T3 synthetic brush in the Lancaster shade bowl. We are all lathered up. There we go. A nice creamy lather. And, uh, we will do our winner announcement and also the next giveaway announcement in this video shortly probably i won't make you hang on too long maybe after the first pass here so thanks for tuning in today and if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button below if you've been here for a while um thanks for the continued support and if you're new if you're a new subscriber welcome if you like anything you see in this video today anything give it that thumbs up if you don't like it you can give it a thumb down but i like the thumbs up so um anyways Let's wet the face and get started, folks. It is Thursday, so glad I didn't wait a week between videos this time. And um, like I said, uh, this uh, Lothar, um, I really liked the calm that I used on Monday. Yesterday, I used a sample off camera that I got from John, um, AKA Lather Hog of juice. Um, I'm really liking the soap quality on this. Um, it was also a version one. And um, the juice sent to me was nice, but it was a little, um, just a little plain to me. I, I can't remember what the scent notes on it were. Um, it just, it, it was nice and it was pleasant, but it just didn't grab me. Um, I think if I, I haven't tried the Dave, that's the, um, the, uh, tea scented one. Uh, but if I were to rank these three, I would say for me personally, uh, probably calm, then tears, then juice. Um, tomorrow they are releasing, uh, their newest scent. I think I saw a post this morning on Instagram from the razor company, um, that, uh, their newest scent is dropping, I think, tomorrow sometime. Um, follow the Razor Company if you aren't on Instagram. Uh, they are also, I think, on Facebook. Um, but I believe it's dropping tomorrow. I think it's called Namka. I did see Kevy Shaves um, got it early and did a video on it. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing, but I watched part of it. Uh, he really enjoyed the scent. It's like a, a uh, I can't remember what it is now. So it has rose in it, and saffron, um, and I can't, I can't remember. It sounds like a nice scent, but it'll be the first set released with a, with a splash. I, I don't know if it's an alcohol splash or not. I didn't catch that. And my understanding is they're gonna come out with uh, splashes for all these other scents that they've released uh, previously at some point. I did, um, I did see, or I did, uh, I think in one of my messages from Seth, he said that he heard good feedback uh, from people 
regarding the splash. As you can imagine, there's probably a group of testers out there for that. So anyways, I'm looking forward to maybe trying that one. It looks like a scent that would be pretty good. And um, so I don't think there's a time released yet on what time it's being released. And oh, there it is. Uh, kids have been playing with this. This is just plain water in this. Um, I find since I, I fill the sink and I rinse my um, razor in the sink water, uh, I don't want to re-grab that water. And I, I don't mind swishing my, <laughs> obviously I, I brought this up on a previous video, but uh, I don't mind uh, swishing my razor through the water because I feel like I agitate it enough that it doesn't really pick up any of those hairs in there. And um, I think a lot of those hairs kind of sit on top of the water, but I don't want to grab and, and re-wet the face. So this works out. It's just water in here. I, like I said, I got it on Amazon, but the mist is nice because it evenly distributes the water on the face. Um, so I, I wish I would have grabbed the scent notes. This is just a really nice scent. And again, I, I think, um, I think there was some early criticism uh, about the scent strength on this stuff, and I find it to be just fine. I know the new one, the new base is uh, a little denser, I think. Maybe not firmer. Um, I think Johnny reached out to me on Instagram. He said that the new base maybe isn't, isn't harder, um, but it's firmer, I guess. So um, I do... And that Namka that's coming out today is going to be in the new base. The, and it's not really, uh, I guess uh, Johnny said it's not really uh, another version per se, but they called it V2 just to avoid confusion. But um, it's the same ingredients. They just tweaked the ratios of some of the things. So he didn't really add anything new to the base that wasn't already in there. Um, just some of the ratios of stuff that allowed him to firm up the base and then the scent strengths were dialed up a little bit. But, and I think for those of you, I, it's been discussed on a lot of other YouTube channels, but for those of you who may not know, there's a lot more restrictions in Europe regarding cosmetic products and um, how much scent and, and, and other type of stuff that you can put in it in levels. So a lot of the European um, stuff tends to be a little less, um, or happens typically is, is a little lower in scent strength and things like that, just because of that. Um, but he was able to dial it up a little bit from what I understand. But to me, honestly, on these version ones, I don't really see the need to go out and replace these with version two for myself because the scent strength is enough. I think I would definitely like to get the splash for Calm and for this one. So anyway, so you'll see typically a lot of the European uh, made products, especially in the EU. Aren't as, uh, as strong in the scent strength department but this is a very good soap um, as far as the base goes uh, it's easy to lather I'm really enjoying it uh, it's very creamy and I know I'm leaving some some uh, some soap behind but with the open comb it's hard to it's hard to pick up all that soap and so this is, I've been using the open comb the last few days and, you know, typically the open comb is really made, it's made for people who don't shave every day, really. And I've been using it um, kind of daily just to kind of get a better feel for it because I haven't used it a whole lot. But typically, and I mean, some people use the open comb on it as a daily shaver and there's nothing wrong with that. This is the A plate in the car. So the A plate in the open comb is supposed to be equivalent to the B plate in the solid bar. 
on the carve. Uh, it does look kind of cool, although uh, it could look a little menacing. Um, but I think if you're careful with it, uh, you know, and you get a mild plate like this, uh, you know, it, it's it's not so bad. And uh, so then we get the grain. And I forgot, I'm already 10 minutes in and I got, let me do this. Um, I forgot to, I got, I get so into what I was saying. Um, I forgot to announce our winners. So let me do that. <laughs> with lather on my face right here. So the winner of the $20 TRC gift card will announce right here. All right, congratulations, Tim G. Uh, contact me on Instagram at the Wet Shave Experience, or you can email me directly, the Wet Shave Experience on gmail.com. Today's giveaway, we're going to give away, and this is another thing I tried to give away a, a while ago, and the winner never came forward, so I just kind of saved it. This is Gothorum Tonstrina. I thought this was also a perfect uh, label for Halloween, so hopefully I can get this out to somebody before Halloween. This is a very patchouli forward scent. It was used once by myself. Uh, I scooped it. Um, the Southern Witchcraft soap base is really, really fantastic. It will come with the splash. So um, this continental US shipping only on this one, folks, just, um, just due to the splash. In fact, well, let me see. No, this is not alcohol. So, I mean, I will, I will, uh, I will ship this um, wherever I need to ship it. So anyways, um, that Southern Witchcraft's base is really, really fantastic. The scent was not for me. It's very patchouli forward. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna shave tomorrow or not. I may or may not. So let's just do hashtag since this was actually donated to the channel some time ago by TRC. We'll keep the hashtag the same. So hashtag TRC to enter for that set there. And I'll try to get it out in the mail as soon as I can. Uh, if you're internationally having to win, you probably won't get it before Halloween. At least uh, Halloween in the U.S. here, I guess. I don't know. What other countries do, to be honest with you, for Halloween? Um, so anyways, um, I think this, uh, back to the razor, you know, the open comb, um, this one is fairly mild. But typically open combs are generally designed or in, intended for people that do not shave as often, have longer hair, so that you get those lather channels so it lays the hair down better. And then typically what they call the the, um, the span between um, the blade and the end of the bar is longer on here to allow longer hairs to flow through there. And span is different than blade gap. Blade gap is just the, the, the um, the distance between uh, the base plate and the top cap, I guess you'll say. And then blade span is um, is to the edge of here um, from, I can't remember if it's from the, the blade or from the top cap, but, but the longer it is here like this, right? So gap is, is up and down and span is kind of between here and here. So the longer the span, or so I guess the wider the base plate, you could say, um, in relation to the top cap, is span. So typically, um, larger spans are more aggressive and allow for longer hairs to flow through. Um, so anyways, I'm not the best at explaining that. So more mild razors typically have typically have uh, smaller blade gaps and also smaller blade spans. But <clears throat> how the razor actually shaves is a kind of a combination of all that geometry. All right, I'm going to rinse the face here.
All right, so the Lothar soap is just, I, I really like it. Um, I, th I think it's, it's excellent quality soap. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying the splashes and other things they're coming out with. Uh, let's see, where did I do with the, uh, oh, here it is. So we're gonna try the Ethos. Uh, Ethos partners with, partnered with DFS or Damn Fine Shave on, uh, on, this, on this particular scent. So like I said, this I didn't have the scent notes on the tears, but it is a Colonia type scent. And these don't match exactly, uh, but they're they're similar. Uh, this is a, a little bit more um, lemon forward, I guess, I guess I would say, than the soap, but the soap is very, very nice. All right, thanks for tuning in, folks. I will see you soon on the channel, and I'll try to get this. I, I may or may not do a video tomorrow, so hopefully enough people see this, and we'll do the giveaway and get out in the mail. So have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you soon on the channel.